This is Tita on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring you the biggest sentiment stories and, of course, interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omar <laughs> and Ife Olu Oshake. What's good? What's good? Hi. What's good? <sighs> I don't know. I'm good. <laughs> You don't Guys, know, but I've you're been good. So yeah, sleepy today. Just, I'm so grumpy. Just one of those days. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> At least not yet. <laughs> what? It's just. But the the end of the week is drawing near. Like tomorrow is. The Friday, week ended right? yesterday, fam. For you. For people. As For people. We are not people. We are not regular people. We are not people. Yeah, I guess that's why. I'm like, I want to sleep, guys. You don't understand, and I can't, and I'm just mad. It's adult food. Do you know when I was on the road? I was driving to work this morning. I was like, why is the road so free? I was scared, but then I remember when I got to work. Okay, I heard from somebody that today is a public. I didn't even know that. Like, it's not even a vocabulary. What's public holiday? What is that? Like a name, like an animal or something? We don't. We have no idea. We need a dictionary for that. Oh, guys, tears. Okay, let's start with Madonna's um, Instagram account, which has been censored for spreading misinformation. Mm -hmm. This comes after sharing a video about a coronavirus conspiracy theory to have 15 million followers. In her post, the singer claimed the vaccine for COVID-19 had already been found, but was being hidden to, quote, let the rich get rich. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. It Could happens. To Instagram, <laughs> yeah, it happens mm -hmm. where you can... Sometimes you you think it's the truth and not a conspiracy theory. Mm. So I'm just going to give her that opportunity that she didn't necessarily. She not the one that said she would be dancing again soon. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't think she She's was already dancing. <laughs> I really want to believe that Madonna wasn't intending to spread spread false information. Yeah. Sometimes you just she believe, genuinely believes it. Yes, she genuinely mm. be, believed it. But I think it's important though, especially with your status, to still verify and verify again where your source is from. And I think there has been a trend of that lately, seeing um, a lot of chastisements given to celebrities when they say things that are not backed up by facts. Such as Mr. Abel. One. Nah, he's almost mm. really terrible. But yeah, so it's like, even the guy that has been in the news for the Jewish statement, not not Nick now, there's another guy mm. who was, yeah, who came out and there's been... Even if it is quote unquote right, as long as it's not backed up with facts, as long as it's masked around conspiracy mm. theories, I think it's really important not to spread that out to a lot of people. I don't know if we have that in Nigeria yet, or we're trying to really like tone that down. People who miss spread misinformation, yeah, but we I do. Like the That's energy. why we have a lot of fake news conversation. I think too many seminars happened last two years, last year mm. on that on those true two words, and it would have happened again this year if not for the lockdown. So I I, I think what I'm getting from what you're saying. Is that public figures, no matter how little your followers are or how large they are, you need to really back whatever you're going to put out there yeah. with facts. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't even but want there's to bedroom say. conversation. There's like mm -hmm. I have friends over conversation, mm -hmm. but then there's Instagram conversation. That yeah. wasn't it. That was not it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even want to say people with um, followers or no followers at all, whatever it is, as a person, before you share any information that may affect the next person, I think you have to make sure that, okay, I have my fact rights. And even when you have your facts, Act right can you back it up when somebody says if I told me that this this that if you cannot mention that if I told you then why even put it out there in the first place do you understand so I believe that before anybody you have to be sure that telling you based on facts based on that's what I'm saying <laughs> like you have to be sure that if I telling you based on fact like you said bedroom conversation but this is Madonna Madonna has a huge fan base so but Instagram let's not lie. Are you like oh, oh my gosh I'm so surprised she could say such a thing I'm, no I'm not it uh, doesn't strike me like the most because okay. she's blonde. Moving <laughs> <laughs> <Well, hang> on, <laughs> Dr. Dre answers um, wife's pe divorce petition reveals there is a prenup. He says he's fine paying Nicole Young spousal support, but any um, distribution of property should be governed by their prenuptial mm. agreement. This this news broke my heart. They've been together for quite a long time, and I the used news to, of the divorce broke your heart, or this particular no, the separation. Out. Yeah, the okay. separation. I mean, they separated for a while now, but I just assumed that they would get back together and all that. So obviously, if they're talking about prenup, then it's pretty. Four years actually. It is a long time. Mm. That's my entire life and a bit more. So <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a long time for for you to just throw all that away. But I mean, I mean it's life and it happens. Um, I like that there was pre there was a prenup involved, so there's no need for dramas. This is my brush. This it's is your table. It's interesting that prenup ha was on the table that back then. Years yeah, ago. yeah. Mm. Maybe it's, it's been it's been well. there. 
Mm. It's been there. It just became more popular recently. And you can't even say recently as that when they got married in 1996, we had prenup. No, I'm not. I'm not okay. offended. You, you're forgiven. Okay. Your sins are forgiven. Ah. Am I? Is there anything to be forgiven? <laughs> oh, you haven't asked for forgiveness. So when you do, but you is there something I should ask for forgiveness? No. For? I, how would I know? Ah. You, you, well, you're the one who's giving out forgiveness. Okay. Tea time. We'll be right back after this short break with a guest, of course.